Hey guys, Tyler here. The Turians are one of the most prominent alien species in the Mass Effect universe, known for their disciplined and militaristic culture. The Turians are the third race to join the Citadel Council, and are notorious for their role in helping quell the Krogan rebellions. They are respected for their public service ethic as well as their contributions to the Citadel fleet in the form of soldiers and starships. They are, however, sometimes seen as rigid and imperialist by other races. Indeed, there's a lasting animosity between Turians and humans after having fought a war in the mid-22nd century, though this bitterness has slowly begun to heal. The Turians have a rich history and culture, as well as a distinct biology that sets them apart from many other races in Mass Effect's Milky Way. In this video, I'll examine these and other topics and attempt to answer the question, could a species like the Turians evolve in real life? Let's find out. I'll start with the Turians' anatomy and physiology. Like many other intelligent species in Mass Effect, the Turians are bipedal in stature and stand over 6 feet or 1.8 meters tall. They have two long, thick fingers and an opposable thumb on each hand, as well as a set of mandibles around their mouths. The Turians also have a metallic carapace that contains trace amounts of thulium, a real chemical element in the Lanthanide series. While thulium has no significant biological role on Earth, the Turians evolved their metallic carapace as a defense against greater levels of solar radiation due to their homeworld's relatively weak magnetic field. Speaking of the Turian homeworld, let's talk about it for a minute. Their planet of origin, Palavan, orbits a typical looking star at a distance of 1.15 astronomical units. It is wider and more massive than Earth, resulting in a slightly higher surface gravity. Its core is relatively metal poor, however, which is the reason the planet's magnetic field is not as strong, a trait that may be common among terrestrial planets significantly larger than Earth. This weaker magnetic field is balanced out, though, by the planet's 28-hour rotation and its slightly thicker atmosphere. This configuration is evidently stable enough to allow for the evolution of complex life over multi-billion year timescales. Nevertheless, an Alliance travel advisory strongly suggests human visitors wear environmental suits or other radiation protection when visiting Palavan. Regarding Turian evolution, we see that the species possesses numerous avian-looking features. In fact, David Anderson claims that Turians remind him of the evolutionary link between birds and dinosaurs, though I have to say I personally don't see it. The Turians are, however, viviparous, meaning they give birth to live young. Their voice also has a distinctive flanging effect. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent. Overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Unlike in humans, Turians do not possess significant sexual dimorphism, though female Turians lack the male's crest of horns and possess cat-like eyes. The Turian lifespan is also comparable to that of humans. Turians have blue blood that may be based on the protein hemocyanin instead of hemoglobin. Hemocyanin is in fact found in some earth animals, such as horseshoe crabs. Turians also exhibit characteristics of predators, including forward-facing eyes as well as teeth and jaw structures resembling those of Earth's crocodiles. Their diet is thus primarily meat-based, and their digestive systems may be similar to Earth reptiles. Their slender bodies also seem to suggest they are capable of moving at high speeds, which would be helped along by their digitigrade legs. Even though life on Palavan is carbon-based, it is built on dextroamino acids instead of the more dominant levoamino acids, a phenomenon called chirality. On Earth, virtually all known life uses levoamino acids and dextro sugars. Biomolecules with the opposite chirality may be one of the least unusual forms of alternative biochemistry in the universe. However, such biomolecules would be incompatible with those of typical stereochemistry. One way that this manifests in Mass Effect is the fact that the Turians cannot digest food from levoprotein biospheres, which can be fatal if left untreated. Turian civilization is said to span 15,000 years of history. Before the dawn of their civilization, the Turians were viewed by elder races like the Protheans as quite primitive, 
much like the other ruling races of the modern era. Also like the other Future Council species, the Turians have a mass relay in their system, with the first Turian ship to travel through the relay, the THV Ravenna. By the time the Asari reached the Citadel, the Turians had already discovered several mass relays and established colonies throughout the galaxy. When the Asari formed the Council with the Salarians, the Turians were embroiled in a bitter civil war. Known as the Unification War, the conflict originated after hostilities broke out between colonies furthest from Palavan. These colonies had become isolated and xenophobic over the years without the galvanizing influence of the Turian government known as the Hierarchy. Colonists began wearing face tattoos to differentiate themselves from members of other colonies. For the longest time, the Hierarchy refused to get involved. After they did, though, the colony chieftains had become too weak to resist, being forced to put an end to the fighting and renew their allegiance. While peace was restored, it took decades for animosity between the colonies to fade entirely. To this day, most such Turians still wear the facial markings of their home colonies. The Council made first contact with the Turians in the midst of the Krogan Rebellions, which lasted from the 8th to 9th century CE. The Turians brought their considerable war machine at the Council's behest to help put down the Krogan, who had previously been cooperative, but were now considered a threat. After sacrificing many frigates and fighters against the Krogan, the Turians deployed a biological weapon known as the Genophage, which effectively sterilized the Krogan population. Developed by Salarian scientists, the Genophage decimated the Krogan to the point of defeat. In gratitude for their service, the Turians were granted full membership to the Council by 900 CE, with their military filling the niche left by the Krogan. Turian society is very regimented and organized, and the Turians are known for their strict discipline and work ethic. Turians believe that groups and areas can have spirits that transcend the individual. For example, a military unit's spirit embodies the honor and courage of its members, and a city's spirit reflects its residents' accomplishments. Despite their militaristic reputation, Turians do view diplomatic channels as preferable to war, but when they view conflict as inevitable, they embrace the concept of total war. They do not believe in skirmishes, instead using massive fleets and numbers to overwhelm an adversary, such that they ensure an enemy will never be fought more than once. They do not destroy their enemies, but rather, they so completely devastate their militaries that they have no choice but to become client states of the Turians. In fact, their military might in interstellar affairs is mostly matched by only one race. Humans. The military is at the center of Turian society. It is not just an armed force, but an all-encompassing public works organization. The military and civic police are one and the same. A corps of engineers builds and maintains everything from spaceports to schools to water and power stations, and the merchant marine ensures all worlds receive needed resources. Their economy, though smaller than that of the Asari, is still vastly larger than the Human Systems Alliance, and Turian business development improved after they took on the Volus as a client race. Despite being individuals with personal desires, Turian's instinct is still to equate oneself with the collective for the greater good. The greater good. They have a strong sense of personal accountability, and other races find Turian honor remarkable, much like Klingon honor in the Star Trek universe. Lying and nepotism are looked down upon by most Turians, who strive to practice meritocracy. The Turians have 27 citizenship tiers, including a civilian tier and multiple tiers associated with military rank. Top-ranking citizens, known as Primarchs, vote on matters of national importance, but otherwise maintain a hands-off policy, trusting lower-ranking citizens to perform their duties competently. Turians ascend tiers throughout their lives and are occasionally demoted, though the stigma associated with demotion lies not with the individual, but those who promoted them. This curbs the tendency to promote individuals to positions beyond their capabilities. Settling in a role is not considered stagnation, as Turians value awareness of their limitations more than blind ambition. Despite this complex tier system, Turians nonetheless enjoy broad personal freedoms. These include, among other things, freedom of religion, as well as a liberal attitude towards recreational drug use, so long as neither interferes with the Turians' professional duties. 
Their criminal justice system is also more geared towards rehabilitation than punishment, with judicial proceedings known as interventions. If rehabilitation fails, however, Turians have no qualms about sentencing dangerous criminals to a life of hard labor for the state. Uh, well, I, I did say more geared towards rehabilitation. Not that there's a lack of punishment. Uh, well, regardless, the sum of Turian's cultural practices has earned them a reputation as being one of the most socially progressive citadel species, possibly second only to humans. The hierarchical structure of their government and military means that changes accepted by leadership are quickly adopted with minimal resistance. So, to recap. The Turians have a distinct biology adapted for the environment of their homeworld. Their anatomy is a blend of avian-like features as well as a metallic carapace that shields them from harmful UV radiation. Their biology is also based on dextroamino acids instead of levoamino acids, meaning they cannot properly digest the food of many other cultures. Their own culture is centered on military and public affairs, though they have a strong individualist streak. They form part of the backbone of the Citadel Council, particularly in matters of defense, and first suggested the formation of Citadel Security Services, or CSEC. Their reputation as a progressive people is nevertheless counterbalanced by their complicity in the effective genocide of the Krogan. All in all, I think that the Turians are one of the most fascinating species in Mass Effect, from both a biological and a socio-cultural standpoint. While they must endure harsher environmental conditions on Palavin, I could see something like them evolving in real life, given the right conditions. So, if you were an Alliance commander tasked with an important mission, would you recruit a Turian to serve on your crew? When you play as Commander Shepard, how often do you select Garrus as a squad mate? I, I personally select him quite often. Let me know down in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and don't forget to share it. That stuff really helps me out. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that as well so you won't miss future uploads and click the bell icon to receive all notifications. If you want to support my work even further, becoming a patron or a member is a great way to do so. Links to those, as well as my social media and merch store, are in the description. That's all I have for this week. I should go.